I'm back at Kelsey's house and today we're going to deal with her coat closet. Um, so what is overwhelming about the coat closet? Well, as you can see, there's stuff like falling out of it and I can't, we put stuff up there and then I can't find what I need. And some things are kind of hidden by the coats and I can't get to them. And it's just messy. Yeah. So what's your vision for this? What do you hope happens? Let's put it that way. I hope that I can get to the things that I need more easily and not open it to see a huge mess. So we have a top shelf, then we have the coats, and then we have the shoes. What feels like the least intimidating to go through? The shoes. Okay, so we'll do that first. Okay. Okay. I might do it here because okay. I kind of know pretty that works. easily what's staying. Yep. That, that belongs to my uncle that he left here. The original plan was holding basket, Hudson basket, a rack for me, a rack for Josh. Oh, yeah. Good plan. But then he grew. It's not really working for Hudson's because his shoes don't fit in there anymore. Well, plus all of his summer shoes are in here that probably don't need to be in here anymore. So what do you usually do with summer shoes? Well, for the boys, I usually pack them away because they won't fit next summer. With ours, I just put a box of shoes in the basement until the spring. So I can probably do that now because I'm pretty much done with the with some of them. Yeah. Some of them I'll stay Awesome. Pretty quickly, Kelsey decided she needed a donate pile, and she is also taking out any off-season shoes. I get that question quite frequently here on my channel. Why do I take off-season clothes and shoes and pack them away? I would say that in the state of Maine, median housing does not have big closets. As a matter of fact, as you see, Kelsey is cleaning out a coat closet. I live in the state of Maine where we have very long winters. I do not have a coat closet in my home and that is pretty common around here. I'm always surprised when I travel down south and I see these coat closets in most of the houses and I think, why do you have a coat closet in Florida but you do not have a coat closet in the state of Maine? It makes absolutely no sense. So there's not enough room for everyone's shoes here in the coat closet and you're going to hear me talk to Kelsey about that and how I've kind of even dealt with winter clothes winter coats and such that's very out of pocket so stay tuned for that it's a little odd so she is getting everything tidied up cleaned up and she is packing away things that are not going to be for this season and she's also decluttering for donation so these are for next year or for big brother handing down to little brother. And then we got started on a little donate pile and then these will get stored for summer for next year. You live in the, the culture of we wouldn't need it. You I know. use it if we had it. I have one. It's just in my bedroom closet upstairs. And I've yes. Worn in five That's years. what's even worse at my house is I make everyone keep their clothes. Their coats in their closet. You want to wear coats? Really? Mm -hmm. In your house? Mm -hmm. Like even like in the winter time, mm -hmm. they have to go put them in their mm -hmm. bedroom closet. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Because, and I had put these hooks in the room that is now my office, and it was just oh, it was always so messy and drippy and wet and obvious. I, of course, they dry them first. I think snowsuits, we do have a rack in the basement where they put snowsuits, and really, they're teenage girls; they don't even want to go outside anymore. Right. Right. But yeah, I just got, so anything wet or drippy goes in the basement, but I just stopped letting that happen in the main house. Cause they're not, you know, obviously you have a three year old that would never work. All right. I feel like I should take this stuff off the shelf so that we can find it. It's going to be bad. Okay. Like you couldn't even tell me. <laughs> don't even know what we're going to find in here. See, office. now I couldn't see any of this, so I'm thinking, this closet's going to be 20 minutes. Like, what the heck? We're not going to have anything to do. What the heck are these? Oh, pretty shoes. Oh, I think these are for Hudson, and I, they're going to fit him. Yay! Sweet. I was so <laughs> afraid I was going to open them and find out they were too small already. I have done that before. Josh is not a big fan of that. <laughs> right. I'm sure you weren't I a big fan of that either. I put them away and then forget about them. Yeah. <laughs> Click on the like button in support of Kelsey if you have ever decluttered and find something that was purchased new and has never been used. Right. <laughs> and you're all ready for winter. Well, the coats like fit so much better without all that stuff in there. Right. Yeah, that shelf really isn't usable, in a, you know, unless you were hanging something from it. But then you have the shoes, so... 
Oh, that little coat's so cute. <laughs> 100% lots for tots. Oh, that's so or cute. Or golden for this year. I think that's all of Josh's. It seems like there are not enough of Josh's. Like this is like a vintage, I don't know. Oh yeah. Josh is a goodwill master. Yes. Well, Ella Bean definitely makes good donations there. Not even yes. the used stuff. He has sold some stuff like that. All right. This is mine and the boys. Still in the bin. Hey. I mean, there's lots of people that don't do what we do, which is put, you know, do a seasonal closet. Right. Because I always get that question on my channel. Why do you put your off-season clothes somewhere else? Well, my closet's like smaller than that. It's like this big. It's a portable closet. That's part of it. But I mean, that's just something I've always done is put away off-season stuff. <laughs> yeah, so the good thing is whenever you want to sell something, that's something he does. Right, right. yes. That's awesome. Alright, no point in taking these out at this point. So. Right. Yeah, that's why it's just easier to go through them and just grab, 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 grab. And that's not really the part that's bothering you anyway. Oh, it's the coats. Yes, it's not. Let's leave the top. So I think now I want this one in. Yeah. Yeah. Numerous years. It's so cute. Yeah, this I got a yards. 24 months. Oh. Wow, is that Patagonia? Yes. Hello. Yeah, I got a yard sale. Wow. I know many of you had expressed that you're also interested in helping other people declutter and I just wanted to say that you can tell by Kelsey's expressions as she's doing this. We're just chatting and having a really good time together. I can't tell you how much fun it is to go and help someone else declutter in their home. This is the random pile that we're going to go through and as I always say like it would be so easy to just pull everything out but we're trying to take it in stages so that it doesn't you know get to the end and you have this big mess which is what i always used to do rob would come home and i would have emptied the whole closet of the kids on their bedroom floor and then my husband would get home and i'm exhausted needing help and he's just getting out of work it just wasn't wasn't the best plan so i've kind of learned to take it piece by piece that way if you have to stop it's okay if i organize the kids clothes like this i think i could fit my basket here because like holden's coats are short that's true that's a good point yeah that actually really works well i wouldn't find like a few things being down here it's just like it was so packed that it couldn't even fit the things that i needed right so this pile came off this shelf that's under the coat so kelsey's just going to categorize it since it is her husband's obviously that stuff he needs to go through and decide on so, you know, that's just kind of something when you're obviously you're hitting areas that aren't yours is to, at, you know, maybe give it some organization and then let them make those decisions. I think so, because it could taste stale, but it it's sealed. That's the thing, it's sealed. Yeah, I don't have a date on it. Okay, Josh, about it. So we'll fit him next year. Now I have to just figure out where to put it right. Find it next year. Right. Oh, yeah, cute. Thank you. 
My husband has one of those headlamps. It turns behind you. Is that donation cell? Um, like you're getting rid of those? Some of them are cell. Yeah, that is not. But it's all ones you're getting rid of. Most, yes. Yeah, most cool. of them are cell. A couple of them might be getting scored for. So here is more that she's getting rid of. It's the pile's getting bigger. It's this right here, because that is mine. <laughs> Next, we're going to take all this out and put it on a surface and she's going to put back in here what she wants in here and let the vision kind of develop as we go and then decide what to do with the stuff that doesn't go in here. If you're enjoying this series of Mainer Mom on the Road and you would like to see future videos, go ahead and click on that subscribe button if you haven't. Click on the little bell and YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. There is lots more coming. Oh, Ooh, I found garlic. Done. Josh was looking for this the other day. Sit down. Here you go. Yeah. Some more tape. That tape's expensive when you go to oh, like the post goodness. office. Yes, it like, is. Could I just have one piece of one? When I go and help someone declutter an area, I know that I'm there mostly to keep them company so that they can get through the task because it just can be really hard to do it yourself. You can get in your own head. It just, it's very exhausting. But if you noticed at the beginning of this video, I started with what is your vision for this area? And that is where I start with everyone because it's more important to think about what you want it to look like than what it currently looks like. It really gives you the why that you need to go ahead and push through and get it done. So I like to make sure that they have a vision firmly planted in front of their eyes because I feel like that is the biggest motivator when you know why you're going to go through whatever you're about to go through. All right, so here it all is out here, ready for us to go through. So is there anything here that you feel like really should be up there? I was thinking that might might be nice to keep like the table runners and the garlands that I use out here. Some of them I pack away seasonal. Yep. Yeah. But these are just like generic ones to use like between the seasons. Yeah. And I don't like have a place in the kitchen to keep them really because right. we don't have that much cupboard space in our kitchen. So maybe a basket with those in them. I want to get baskets. I had intended to get baskets so that we could organize oh, today. Yeah but I didn't get yeah. them yet. That's a good idea. Um, but I want to get baskets to put up there so yeah. that I can have to right. put well, them in one spot. spot. Right, yeah. And I think the bubbles could go up there too, because they're, Cause they're close outside. to the door. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense. Wow, and you know, another thing, because you don't have a garage, so what about insect repellent? Yeah, that can probably, like this, we just Where it's used to fill up in the summertime, like keep it like on the shelf in oh, here. Yeah. But, um, Fill it. Fill it all up. These are like travel, but this is probably so old. Probably just be Oh yeah, so like travel, sunshine, spray. Like, um, yeah, a bunch of this stuff is donate. Yeah. Okay. So, like, all right. Is. So, do you have something we could put donations in? We could put donations in this. Like a <laughs> rain shield attached to it. <laughs> Just over your, well, I guess if for a young child it would go over their face. Yeah, I don't know, but it's like all cloudy. So is this donation? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah, like I have bought this for many, I already have this one. Oh, yeah. But the Mario Legos, you have to have this little electronic Mario guy, or they're really not any good. So it's not something we can just like give away to a friend. Because right. Because if they don't have the electronic Mario, then it's not any use. Once we had put everything on the table, the first question you noticed that I asked Kelsey was, what would you like to put back on the shelf in the closet? I wanted her to think about what she wanted there because that's so much easier than trying to figure out immediately what you don't want. Salt. <laughs> Salt. We should go with the gun. Yes. Right? Do you think the gun will stay over the coats? Probably. Yeah, because it's a good place to stay, right? Yeah. Flies come in the front door. <laughs> All right, I just like this. Well, this is zip tied to this. Is it equipment that goes with it? Maybe. I think this is a headphones case, as far as I know. Oh, I really couldn't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> this is Josh's. This is this 
this donation thing was really bad. This is the donation because you can get to this too big for you. <laughs> That's so cute. I mean, think about how much stuff you get rid of from between last week and this week. Yes. Last week wasn't bought. I had a little remorse about all the stuff Did we you? got rid of, but I was like, it's okay. We don't need it. It's fine. I was having all the thoughts of like, what if we do foster care and we have a baby? I should oh, save yeah. a bin of toys for if we need them. Like, what if we have friends over that have babies? I like to have toys. It's like, no, we don't need them. It's okay. Get pasta babies, I'll go to the consignment yes. store and buy a few new ones. It will be fine. Gotta provide again. I was having all the regret though. Yeah. But I sold them. I did a whole lot. Oh my goodness. And for several days, like nobody posted that. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna sell people that want to buy these toys. And then like three or four people asked me about them. One lady is buying all of it. I'm meeting her tonight. That's amazing. So I was like, oh, look, I made money for our family. Yeah, that's awesome. Like getting rid of stuff. All right. These can stay up there because these are Hudson's for traveling. And I never can find them. Maybe I'll put them in a bin because Holden is supposed to have some too, and then they can be together. Hey, Smiley. Hi. Come in. Come in, he said. Oh, why, thank you, sir. The puzzles are going in the game room. Oh. All right, like this. You can live in the closet. It's getting there. When you're done with this, you're done. I know. Right. Yeah, I told myself it was like I was not as motivated. Like last week, I was really excited to do the playroom because I knew it would be like instant gratification. Things would look really nice. But this one, I was like, it's just a short project. I can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I did not want to. I was like sucking myself up. Like if you were not coming, it would not be. That's good. the good thing about having someone come. Right. All right. Like these are all Josh's. It's kind of like having an exercise buddy, you know. Yes. You wouldn't go running, too. but then you know exactly. you're meeting them. Exactly. Okay. We need this. This is the light is in Hudson's room. Uh, yeah, these are the new oh really? A lot of it needs a new battery. battery. It might need yeah. Patrice, you know what? You just reminded me that when I leave here, I have to go pick up groceries, which reminded me because I put batteries on the list, which I never do. Locked. It didn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. Do you think it'll work when you get new batteries? Yeah, it Yeah, does. that's good. All right, the rest of this stuff, not this, this should go in the closet. And that was donation? That is donation. Perfect. This stuff is all Josh's. Yep. This is donate or sell or... Something. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's you. Yeah. Are you so cute? Yeah. <laughs> Look on your shirt. Yeah, I like your shirt. Yeah. And then this is the donate or sell box, which is amazing. She's just done so well. And then these are just a few things that her husband is going to to handle and decide what to do with. You don't want your shields anymore? Yeah, those are toes. So those can be trash? <laughs> yes. Okay, great. This is just trash. It's sandpaper. I didn't, I didn't know if you needed it. It's built in the basement. This flashlight. That uh, there's the a whole pile yes. of those. I put it back on the shelf. You see the little bin? Oh, okay. We're just going to all stare at you. I appreciate that. Oh my god. That's such a nice one. I know. Save it. I know. Did I buy it for you? Yes. Oh, okay. That's why it's a nice <laughs> one. <laughs> I can't remember that part back. <laughs> Kelsey's husband, Josh, was such a good sport. He literally walked in the door and we were like, hey, we have these things we need you to go through and we've got this camera and we're gonna record the whole thing. I hope you don't mind. And he was fine with it and was willing to do the decluttering with us. Oh, there's the other glove, thank you. Where's the other one? <laughs> Downstairs. Oh, I was looking for that. See how handsome you are? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Light up frisbee. You going to the kitchen? Yes. You gonna put Look, I'm saying my light up frisbee. Oh wow, that is so cool. A light up frisbee. This next little section you're going to see reminded me so much of my husband and I and our dynamic that I just had to leave it in. It's definitely all in good fun. Christine, what's this right here? Donate. Your shoes? 
Those are the old ones. Oh, those ones? Those ones are from Martin. I have three pairs that are the same. They're kind of like skinny in the toes. They're not super comfortable. I don't pay them. <laughs> don't talk me. I told you. He does not like to get rid of stuff. He's trying to talk I me like out of the that we don't need. These are toes. I know, but I don't like them because they're not so that stylish. comfortable. I know, but I, I don't like them that much. I like them. You don't like this khaki jacket? I never wear it. I haven't worn it in two falls, and it's a fall jacket. Hey, don't look at that. Okay, my work here's done. All right, that I was can get you easy. a basket to go up in the top of the closet to put all your hats and gloves in. This is winter stuff. I can keep it downstairs till it gets cold. All right. Yeah. Okay. So this is your pile that came out of the top of the closet that I wasn't sure was what. This is zip tied with it. So that I didn't lose it. This is what I just bought to do videos. We need to do one for today. I know. I didn't understand why there was a hat case to it. Yeah, it was holding the stuff. Oh, okay. Supplies. I thought, I don't know what they are. I don't know. Alcohol wipes, they were COVID wipes. We also found coffee. Yeah, that's, that's giveaway. Would you like it? No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> no, thank you. Gingerbread. Yeah. I don't know that I want my coffee. Well, see, I put a shake in my coffee. That's like most best. So this is... You ordered those, right? You should stick them on the front window. This I bought for the special boxes for the uh, I'll put this in my Ooh. which one box in case it's perfect. Can we keep this like, the Yeah, we can keep any of it up there. I just didn't <laughs> know what <laughs> stuff. It gets to still be your house. That's right. <laughs> I don't want to break the rules. Yeah, yeah really. I <laughs> want this for your shoes. Okay. No, so the shoe gear. Okay, perfect. This was Hudson's camera stuff that he's I didn't know what to do with it. I don't even know where the camera is. It's never used. Camera! Well, the camera case is up there, but I don't think the camera's in there. I don't know where the camera is. No, I don't think it's in there. Well, that was easy. Yeah. I'll go. I'm going to just put this downstairs in the scrap pile. As a reminder, this is the before where things were completely out of order. They didn't know even what was up on the shelf. And then there were a lot of coats that they decluttered, which is amazing. Under you had that little shelf that was really crammed in from coats and the shoes didn't fit in the baskets or where they were supposed to go. And here's the after. Oh my goodness. That really is a huge difference. That's a huge difference. Uh, oh, and then again, the donate pile. I have the video where Kelsey and I did her toy room that you can click on and I'll meet you over there. Remember, as always, God loves you and I love you too. And I can't wait to see you next time.